Let's go straight into the new games this week on PC, starting with... Betrayer. This is a first-person action-adventure game that takes you to the new world at the turn of 17th century. The year is 1604. You sailed from England expecting to join a straggling colony on the coast of Virginia. Instead, you find only ghosts and mysteries. What catastrophe blighted the land and drained its color and life? Where are the settlers and tribes who live there? Then most of the people clicking on this video probably want Naraka Bladepoint that is free now on consoles, Steam and even Epic Games Store. At the time of recording this video it is not free yet but it is only hours till it's free so hopefully now it is because it's going to free to play model which means it's going to be free forever but with some microtransactions. This is a 60 players PvP game with a martial art and Chinese settings. Next going to Steam, Born to Rise, where you have to make your way through the bowels of vast underground dungeon filled with unique environments, deadly dangers and mysterious beings. Jump, dash and give the enemies or encounter their due thanks to powerful weapons. Then we have this weird one, Cavera, the Island of Apes. Are you play apes this is an online co-op game only and you can dance with up to 99 other apes you can explore swim chill that's about it if you have a friend and you are all fans of planet of apes maybe this is one of the good options invicta the next queen is a top-down souls like air where a legendary warrior must fight her way through the hell and claim her soul once more. Take the role of Mona as you explore the Labyrinthia dungeon that make up the circle of greed and defeat King Midas in a single combat. Uh, next one, you can play with up to 24 players. It is called Yippee Knockout and you can play across 13 levels while running, jumping, and other skill to win in your yippee! Tai Son Dynasty. This is another Asian game. It's a multiplayer action combat game set in the period of Tai Son Dynasty, which had many victories highlighted the intelligence, bravery, and patriotism of the Vietnamese people. That is so rare to get a Vietnamese game. Too bad it's got mixed reviews. And how about Unbridled? horse designer yes this is not a real game but where else can you get so details in horse designer you can design the horse of your dream there are so many things to custom i don't think you can ride the horse it is just for a show nothing matters is a short point and click narrative adventure inspired by the real life experience of struggling solo indie game developer a story about everything and hence nothing at all discover what truly matters to you second world war II online is a completely free to play player driven simulated war game with a first person tactical and strategy layer You'll fight a global war on a single worldwide server capable of holding thousands of players. Unmatched combined arms gameplay on a massive scale. Now with the build invoice comes. Very mixed review, so I guess something went uh, not as planned. But if you want to try it out, sounds interesting. Tides of Dominion. Embark on a maritime adventure in Tides of Dominion. Conquer islands, get a precious loot to upgrade your ship. And remember, in this game of nautical domination, it's either sing or swim. A free-to-play version of Tea of Thieves, perhaps? Cave Crawlers is a 1 to 10 player roguelite set deep underground in a system of randomly generated caves. Players use weapons, spells and talents to defeat the unique bosses and enemies found in each biome. Very few reviews but mostly positive. High Rise Guardian is an arena first person shooter. Gear up with weapons of your choice from the fighting flow with a selection of abilities and perks. Dominate your enemies with map control. Make an art like battle style to become an anime gunslider. There's only one user review but recommends. 
but maybe there's not enough players. Hmm. Shattered Legacy. Start an exciting journey to the magical world where the family idea of nudging blocks and solving puzzles combine to offer an amazing adventure, explore difficult puzzles and cryptic challenges in a unique levels. This looks like a Sakoban twist. And no user reviews, you can be the first one. Next one is called Soul Detective. Worthy souls are being held back from moving on the land of the dead. The Soul Detective Agency is on the case. Our detective and his trusty partner Magnus enraptured in the magnifying glass creating a ghoulish weapon of destruction are here to defeat the demons who are causing this catastrophe. Weird. Looks so weird. Sometimes we're good. Sometimes. Five Nights at Smog's. You are taking the guard night shift Potinir located in the York. There is an unknown monster in the restaurant trying to get you. Probably recommended to play during night when you are alone. Horror Engine is actually not a game, it's a demonstration of a yeah, a horror engine for Unreal Engine that lets you create games. So this demo version will show you what is the engine capable to give you idea how you can use it in your game. This one you can play on Steam and then you can get the engine on Unreal Engine. I already got it. It's really for free. And this weekend you can play Prison Architect. It was free before from Epic, but if you missed it, you got a chance to play it only during weekend. After that, it won't be free anymore. If you want to know if you should play it, maybe watch our review. I think we can help you with that. Now let's move to itch.io. AI Asylum. This is one of these AI games, very early stage, probably not so complex yet, but it's a start. You have arrived at the asylum filled with deranged AI powered psychos who won't open to just anyone. Your mission? To gain their trust and unlock their deepest, darkest secrets. But be warned, not everyone is who they seem and danger lurks around every corner. Or how about Froggy? Jump and grapple your way to the top. This game was made with zero communication between devs as a part of fun game dev challenge, which you can watch on YouTube or just play the game. You can download it, name your prize, which means you don't have to pay anything if you don't want to. Or Miasmata. That is the first person psychological horror maze game with a horrific atmosphere where you are trapped in a maze-like prison with a mysterious creature and your only hope of survival is to find a way to escape. Of course. And going to Epic, there are some newly added free games like this better version of Phantom Blade Executioners, which looks very nice. It is single player and co-op, hand-drawn action 2D adventure, and you can help the devs to improve the game by giving them your feedback. And finally, Epic Games this week is giving us Train Valley 2, which is a small indie puzzler about trains. It's a sequel to the successful puzzler, so there might be something about it. Watch our review to find more. And if you don't have enough free games, how about trying a demo versions of upcoming games? We'll have that video up soon, so you can go and watch it when it's available.